Right now, Cincinnati police are searching for the prime suspect in a Mason man's killing. Jamie Erton was shot after hitting a child who ran out in the middle of the street. He hit him with his car. This happened two weeks ago in Walnut Hills, and tonight people who knew Erton came together in a plea for justice. Nine on your side reporter Ashley Zilka was there. Push for peace! Push for peace! In the streets! In the streets! Hand in hand. From this day forward, it'll be hard in every mind. We pray that you will remember Brother Jamie. People marched side by side to celebrate the life of Jamie Erden. It's been tough. Been tough on everybody. A crowd so large that Cincinnati police officers blocked off Canton Street, the spot where Jamie was murdered. I'm here for a minute and I'm gone for a minute. I mean, it's affecting me so bad. Dwight Crawford says he was Erden's best friend. He was one of the last people to see him. I said, I'll see you when you get back. I said, I'll see you when you get back. Erden was on a lunch break driving back to his job at the Cincinnati Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. We still have a co-worker that was with him when the incident occurred. And this is something that they did every day. This was routine for them to go home for lunch, right? Come back, same route, same routine every day. Mitch Morris with Cincinnati Works organized the vigil. Every time it's a homicide, we're going to be out here. Let's stop the murder! Let's stop the murder! Friends say Jamie spent most of his time helping other people, a man who deserves justice. They not only took my best friend, but they took a great human being to a lot of people. And they took away one of God's treasures, one of God's truly treasures. Here's what we know about Jamie's murder. Police say this guy, Jamal Killings, pulled Jamie out of his car and beat him after accidentally hitting his four-year-old boy. Moments later, police believe this man, Deontay Baber, shot and killed Erden. Here are the bullet holes on Jamie's car. Baber is still on the run. He's considered armed and dangerous. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers. Ashley Zoka, 9 on your side.